Greetings, lords and ladies of YouTube land. This is Terror Freeze, and it's time to show you exactly what I've been working on. I have been working on a mod pack for you folks. Uh, I'm going to post it up as a uh, as a general download that everybody can get onto and can start playing with and there are a lot of mods there are about 87 mods 89 mods something like that in this mod pack and I'm going to get with say people like Feed the Beast or maybe AT Launcher or um, I'm gonna get with somebody and see if maybe I can launch this mod pack out to the general public because I think it would be great um, it's got in it hardcore questing but I've got hardcore questing turned off right now because I'm not finished uh, I'm not finished with the quests in it but let me show you anyway okay so I'll go to LAN just to turn the cheats on and then I'll start LAN world and I press T Slash HQM space quest. There we go. All right. Now, if we press E, go to our options in single player mode and go to global. Go to cheat mode and type in book. There it is, quest book. Give ourselves one. As you can see, I've got a miscraft notebook, linking books, unlinked linking book. You know, I haven't got all these uh, all these things set up yet, but what I intend to do is release this as a map. Um, I intend to set up different dimensions as actual worlds that you're able to visit. Uh, I also have Galacticraft, so once you get into space I can rename the planets to where I can have them whatever I want them um, I can have overworld renamed to a different world name all I gotta do is go into the config files and all that mess so this is going to be a real fun map once I actually get started but as you can see I have put my own my own little symbol there and it's actually a TF but it's way too big so I've got to uh, find a way to decrease the size of the uh, the PNG um, it'll look a lot better once I'm through it says greetings I am Emperor Terror Freeze as you're already aware blah 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 goes on down and uh, it gives you the entire overlay of what the stories about all right and then it gets here to Camus 9 colony of lost souls 0% complete open and it starts you off getting different things and those are not the rewards that I'd set those are some cool rewards I don't know what they are and I don't know how they work so we might actually just leave that um, I'll go back let's see what planks are oh boy they like that electromagnet don't they oh you know what it is I added a couple of mods since I started this and it may actually have the same metadata because I had that one and this one 
uh, had uh, similar quests, uh, similar rewards for hearts. And that might just be taking the place of the hearts, the metadata of the hearts. So I'll have to check into that. Let's see, three. NASA workbench schematic. An experience rod. I didn't put any of this in there. But I will leave that one. Maze map focus. And you can get to see what all I've done. I've only set up a few. And as you can see, all the bounties quests are locked. But I'll start setting those up here in a minute. Uh, and another time and place. But I have Galacticraft in here. I have uh, Mistcraft. As you can see, I've got uh, Tinker's Construct, uh, Open Blocks. I've got a bunch of mods in here. I've got Mechanism. Let me just show you if I can press E. All right, NEI subset right here. Better Barrels, Bibliocraft, Bibliocraft Lighting, Biomes Plenty, Brewing, uh, Build Craft, Carpenter's Blocks, Custom NPCs. Yeah, I have Custom NPCs in here because I plan on using that as part of the storyline and stuff. So, yeah. Um, Flans Mods. I plan on using Flans Mod as part of the spaceship stuff to uh, to go to space instead of using just the plain old Galacticraft rocket. You know that's that's kind of generic, but still. Um, uh, let's see. I got this is part of uh, forestry. This is logistics pipes because for some reason, um, my I, I wasn't able to put in applied energistics. It would cause a crash because it was conflicting with other mods. So I don't know what the deal is there, but I, I was able to put in logistics pipes. So you do have a storage system, and it's not really the one I prefer. It's not really the one I like, but hey. I tried to put in applied energistics and it just conflicted. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, I put molasses doors in. This is awesome. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these mods, but this is some really cool stuff. I mean, you can literally create your own doors. You can make a. Uh, you you could use iron doors, glass doors, carriage door, uh, rusty ladders. You could put that. I mean, so we could really do some really cool stuff in making. I, I I'm use a lot of this stuff to make a uh, a spaceship shelter, a half hung open spaceship shelter, and it's gonna be really cool. All right, so chests plus. I did this to kind of like uh, 
whenever you complete quests and stuff like that, it'll lead you to certain areas, and each area will have its own colored chest. And as you can see, I've done that. And then I, for the, uh, for the logistics pipe mod, I've put in uh, iron chests, the iron chest mod, uh, which will allow you to have more crafting space to put stuff, um, and more storage space to put stuff. So uh, it, it'll give you like uh, the gold chest, it'll give you the iron chest, it'll give you the diamond chest, uh, the uh what do you call it the obsidian chest uh yeah it just gives you a whole host list of chests and then i added the more planets mod for uh for galacticraft or actually i added the uh galacticraft mod and then added the more planets mod so um Yeah, that that works out for us for for what we're doing here. All right, so then I have the furniture mod, which is going to go further in for me using the decorations and stuff like that. Then I have open blocks, and of course you have vanilla uh, redstone stuff, which I plan on putting in redstone paste to help make things. A bit more interesting, but we'll see what uh, what comes of it. So next, we got security craft in here, and that's a pretty cool one too. And so you can see you've got track mine, bouncing Betty, furnace, sand mine. All these are like little mines that you can plant throughout the world. And I figure if you're going to be a bounty hunter in this series, which that's pretty much what I put you as, uh, playing a, a guy who got banished from his home world and is given a second chance, but must become a bounty hunter in order to have that second chance. And that's about as much as I could tell you without giving away the whole story. Um, so... You know, I, I figure this ties in with the story. And then we got the technical stuff. We've got... Oh, uh, uh, hey, come back here. All right. Oh, where were we? We were at technical. All right. Uh, here. All right. So... Casing trap, we have portable radar, reinforced iron bars, which cannot be broken with, uh, all of these traps, they cannot be broken even if you're in creative mode, so guess what, yep, yep, and these will allow only certain people with certain names, like say you log in, and you click it, and it reads who you are, it'll allow you to, uh, you and you alone, to access that certain area. Okay? And then uh, we have reinforced glass panes. That can't be broken creatively either. You have to have a specific tool in order to break it and place it. Alarms, reinforced stone, can't be broken either. All the stuff that says reinforce, you cannot break it unless you have a specific tool. Now we have the code breaker, which can be used to break into stuff that has like, uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, passwords like this. You need the key card reader. You could use, uh, you could use the code breaker to get into the key code reader. Um, These are traps. Bucket of fake water, bucket of fake lava. 
and you can use that to create uh, hidden bases and stuff like that, traps. Um, this is your tool, one of the tools that you need to uh, modify and uh, remove those blocks up there. Remember I told you you couldn't do anything with them in creative. Even if you're in creative, it won't work. In, this is another one, wire cutters. So, yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of stuff here that's going to make that uh, really, really, really interesting. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, I've got uh, Tinker's Construct in. And what kind of what kind of bounty hunter would you be if you didn't have a jetpack? Huh? Huh? Of course, you have to have a jetpack. Even Boba Fett had a jetpack. I mean, come on. So, next up, thermal expansion. I figure this will give you the idea to uh, to do some stuff in there that'll help you out, you know, um, help you get more technologically advanced, help you build bases and stuff like that. Um, and I figure once you get in, you'll have your own bit of creative freedom. You won't have to follow the storyline, you know, but this way it gives you the opportunity to follow the storyline and do some fun stuff along the way. All right, thermal foundation that gives you all the ores that you have. I had to install that in order to get the thermal expansion to work properly. So, <coughs> tools, uh, yeah, these are going to be like all your vanilla tools plus all your uh, specialty tools and uh, logistics pipe tools and all that. So, I even have the iguana, uh, iguana tink, uh, tweaks put in for uh, Tinker's Construct. So that way, if you get a tool, you can increase it and you can make it more and more powerful over the course of time. Uh, you will have a few of the... Um, of the you'll have the ability to increase your character's health to uh, use some other tools and stuff like that uh, let's see uh, okay we're going to start playing around a little bit here and see what we can do. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? E. Book. Get rid of that. <coughs> As you can see, I've got NEI installed. That's something uh, that I think anybody should have in any mod pack that they have. So. That or TMI Unlimited, <coughs> which uh, <coughs> I think the same guy that makes NEI makes TMI Unlimited, because uh, originally it was the Too Many Items mod, and now it's the Not Enough Items mod. Uh, and I think he just released a version of it called, uh, uh, Too Many Items Unlimited. Not too long back ago. Uh, it was active up to 1.7.2 for sure, I know. Because I checked into putting it in here. And I couldn't find, a. uh... TMI Unlimited because I liked TMI. I thought TMI was great. But, uh, and you didn't see it very often in many mod packs. So I thought, you know, hey, let people play around with too many items and uh, let them have something that's original that they don't see all the time. Well, guess what? Didn't happen. 
So, you know, being so I couldn't find it, you know, it was a bunch of mess. As you can see, there's 119 pages full of nothing but mods. And I will include in the mod pack this texture pack as well. Because this is a 64 by 64 texture pack. As you can see, it is fun to use. Very, very fun. This is birch. Look at the birch wood texture. Isn't that cool? Alright, now I also have this. If I shift, it won't work with your bare hands. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. It's vein miner. I have vein miner installed, so if you guys want to uh want to be able to chop down a whole tree <clears throat> you'll be able to do that and we put the crafting bench back in there and we get a crafting station thanks to Tinker's construct alright and being that we're going to be here we're probably going to just start out right there and what is that that's not normal water. I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. Okay, calm down. Break this. Jump up there. Ooh, boy. Boy, that made me nauseous. <clears throat> Didn't do much damage, but was definitely dangerous. All right, so let's uh, let's get another piece. All right, let's go get the ooh. This may not do it. I may need one more. I will need one more. Okay. See one more. I'll just go ahead and finish knocking down the tree that way I can demonstrate on an actual tree that I do in fact have vein miner in installed. <laughs> I have Twilight Forest installed in this mod, so we, uh, we're we going to put some really cool builds on the inside of the Twilight Forest. Uh, you'll be able to hunt down the Naga, which is part of the Bounty Hunter quests. Uh, I'll have you hunt down the Urghast as part of another Bounty Hunter quest. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've... I've dealt with with that mod quite a bit so I know many of the mob bosses in there and I'm going to have each mob boss as a uh, bounty quest in the uh, in the uh, oh what do you call it hardcore questing mod but here's the interesting thing. With custom NPCs, I can also give you extra quests that aren't in the questing mod itself. So I can have them suggest quests to you that you won't have on the questing mod, uh, the hardcore questing mod. Yeah. So. We're going to have a lot, a lot of fun with this. And right now, it's like I say, it's currently in development. And this is what's been eating up a lot of my time because I don't know squat about, uh, about creating a mod pack. So it's a lot of trial and error. And uh, I'm having to put together stuff that uh, I've never put together before that I know n literally 
nothing about and that I'm having to force myself to learn about. So, yeah, I, I mean, this is this is tough stuff, you know. I mean, I haven't uh I haven't ever done any of this before. Oh, poison ivy. Where is it? Right there. Doggone it. All right, go get the seeds. There you go. All right. Now, aim down at the ground because I got a lot of stuff going on. And this computer's crap. By the way, I do have my new computer. I just don't have it set up yet because it's not compatible with my former monitor. And until I can get some money to actually have that new monitor, uh, get that new monitor, we're going to be in a bad way. What the heck is going on here? This is a axe. It should be able to cut down this tree. Why is it not cutting down the tree? Is it because of the iguana tweaks? It might be. Okay, so let us try something different here. Let us go to global cheat. Let's go to T I N K Oop E R. All right now. Ooh, ooh. I missed the benches. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a axe. I don't want ardite. Cobalt's too strong. Paper, not strong enough. How about bone? All right. Options. Global. Oh, global. Inventory. Recipe mode. All right, let's do this. Cuz I know this works. And there's the vein miner. And allow me to show you real quick. Your XP, 6%, uh, 6 of 139, so 4.32%. Yep. And I also did that to help you level up the tools, so... Uh, that's going to make it to where all your old tools, I guess, are obsolete. So you're going to have to start out with Tinker's Construct. So I'm going to have to change that, uh, that quest inside the Hardcore Questing Mod book to where it gives you, uh, bone for one. So that way you could start out making bone tools, uh, a low tier tool kit and give you uh, Tinker's Construct stuff like right off the bat. Of course I'm going to have you craft a lot of that. I'm not going to give it all to you but you know we'll see. You know I, I'll give you like NASA schematics and stuff like that that'll be hard to find. Uh, you'd have to find them on, like, the moon or something like that. But, um, yeah, I, I'll give you that kind of stuff. Stuff that's hard to find, stuff that's hard to come, uh, come over with. Then, you know, uh, and I'll get you started. But I'm not going to give you everything. 
So, yeah. There we go. Um, but I just wanted to show you the development of my new series and the new mod pack that I'm working on. Um, as we progress here uh, in my mod pack, I will start a Let's Play series with it. And I also have you a mini map up in the corner there, right hand corner. And all those little red dots on there, those are all items that I haven't picked up. See? As you make your way to each one of them. Right there. There they are. That's what they are right there. It's those two. There we go. Those are gone. Now I have two more over here somewhere. Let's see. Red, 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 red. Should be right about here. Um, should be right on top of whatever it is. You know what? It might still be in the trees. There it is. There it is. Alright. And then there's the last one. That's how the minimap works. Alright, so this was just a quick look. Uh, this isn't a very long video by any means or any stretch of the imagination, but I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. So there you go, YouTube, and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.